It's a magnet for British tourists looking for a taste of the mysterious East. But behind the picture postcards, it can seem that Turkey is a country at war with itself. The battleground is the role of Islam in politics. They used Islam in order to strangle democracy. Then the next step is, hey, th this guy has stolen a candy bar, we're going to cut his hand. The seculars in Turkey believe that they should suppress a religious practice. They should secularize the society by force. I've come here to find out what ordinary Turks feel about the political crisis. As a British Muslim, some of the things I've found are surprising, to say the least. Here, devout women go on dating shows. Some young Muslims openly drink alcohol. And this is a country which bans headscarves in universities. So, can Turkey, which is still in line to join the European Union, find a compromise between Islam and modern Western values? Every Sunday, a group of friends meet up to indulge their passion deep in the woods of northern Turkey. My host, Genje, is an Armenian Christian, but most of these guys, like the majority of Turks, are Muslims. They're all keen hunters, and they've asked me to join them on their trip. I'm not sure what to expect. Where I'm from in Birmingham, there's not much call for hunting. But considering what we're here to shoot, this is just one of many firsts I'm about to confront. I'm in a forest in Mengen, Turkey. I'm with fellow Muslims, and I can't believe I'm pig hunting. I've come along to Moda, an upmarket area of Istanbul. OK, the process has just started. These posters here, which are all around town, says, bring your light. We're not going to leave Moda, which is this area here, or to the reactionists, or basically the conservatives, the anti-progressive people. The protesters have rallied outside a local restaurant, just one of many that have been taken over by the local AKP council. They've banned alcohol from all their buildings. As a citizen of this area, we are against this. But aren't you free to go and find somewhere else to have a drink? Why well, I should go somewhere else? This is my place. I was born there. I am 60 years old. I, all my life I was here. Yeah, but as, as opposed to that venue there, maybe you could go to another venue and have a drink. So what's happening? Uh, step by step, this is one step. Six months after, they will take over in other places, in other places, in other places. We have to say stop somewhere, you see. Sugibi is a popular Turkish dating show. The lovelorn travel from all over Turkey to find their perfect match. <laughs> Turkey's political giants may be at war, but here, it was all about love. <laughs> Yeliz, a devout Muslim, was first up. Nereden geliyorsun Yeliz? Ben Aydın'dan. Aydın. 32 yaşındayım. Evet. Bir evlilik yaptım. 10 yaşında bir oğlum var. Allah bağışlasın. Hayırlısıyla. Peki niye ayrıldın hayatım? Evlilik niye bitti? Sorumsuzluk ve yalan sebepti ayrılığımda. Ne kadar sürdü evlilik? Evlilik. After such a traumatic first marriage, Yeliz is giving her new suitors a proper grilling. Bakalım Yeliz Hanım'ı kim arıyor? Alo. Alo. Bir oğlum var 10 yaşında. Bunun sorumluluğunu kabul edebilir misiniz? Evet. Ee, affedersiniz, eğitim durumunuz nedir? Lise mezunuyum. Evet. Ee, gelin bir görüşelim. Peki. Ya Deniz Hanım davet ediyor sizi Ümit Bey. Ümit Bey'i bekliyoruz. This was beginning to look quite easy. 
I've just been told that I can go on as well as a contestant and try and find myself a wife. It's going to be great. He doesn't marry it yet. Talk he is uh, 34 year old, years old. And here is our next candidate, Adele Ray. Here is Mr. Adele Ray. Welcome, Mr. Hi, Adel. how are you? Thank you. How are you? Very, very Hello. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm th 34 years old. I come Turkish, from uh, Britain. I'm Muslim. I've got my own house, my own car, <laughs> and my own teeth. I have my own car and my own teeth. I'm I'm looking for a good, modern, <laughs> Muslim <laughs> woman. Uh, uh, you you yeah. Yeah. We are all of us. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Adil, Ray, please. Yeah. 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 I can see a problem. 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 Alkış şöyle sarabı. Evet. Peki yeah. anlaşırsak düğün yapacak mı Türk düğünü? Uh, she's asking if we have if if we are agree to marry. Yeah. Uh, will you prepare a Turkish wedding Kına. for us? Yes, Turkish of course. Wedding. We'll have Turk. We can have a mix of Turkish wedding and British wedding. Mix. <gülüyor> On this dating show, traditional and secular Muslims mix happily with each other. And across Turkey, from Muslim boar hunters to rebel wig wearers, I'd seen a really open-minded attitude from everyone I'd met. Despite the epic political struggles in play, Turkey seems to me a country surprisingly at ease with itself. And as a potential member of the European Union, if Turkey can reconcile these tensions, then it could help all of us to build that bridge between East and West. <laughs>